Pluto had it coming from the beginning. It was, it was like, it was never really belong. Pluto's orbit crosses that of another planet. That's no kind of behavior for a planet. Welcome to Spaceverse, your go-to destination for all things celestial. And on this channel, we're diving deep into the mysteries of the universe. From breathtaking visuals to the latest cosmic revelations, Spaceverse is your portal to the cosmos. So, let's start. In the hidden corners of our solar system, a long-veiled enigma has recently come to light. The enigmatic realm of Pluto has perpetually captivated the curiosity of astronomers and space enthusiasts. Now, NASA has declassified previously unrevealed Pluto photographs unraveling astonishing secrets. Once safeguarded in NASA's deepest archives, these images are now shared with the world. Yet as the mysteries of Pluto unfold, the question arises. Are we on the verge of discovering extraterrestrial life, or does an even more cryptic presence lurk in the distant realms of our solar system? Come with us on an extraordinary journey into the core of this astronomical revelation as we delve into the secrets concealed by Pluto through the ages, and explore why these images are causing restless nights for scientists worldwide. Pluto, once honored as the ninth planet in our solar system, now stands as the most massive known dwarf planet. Occupying the far reaches of the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune's influence, Pluto shares its cosmic neighborhood with icy and rocky companions, as well as sizable comets exceeding 62 miles or 100 kilometers in diameter. The year 2006 marked a pivotal moment for Pluto, undergoing a cosmic identity shift as it was reclassified as a dwarf planet. This decision sparked heated debates among astronomers and the public. However, Pluto's celestial journey traces back to 1905, when Percival Lowell, an American astronomer, first suggested its existence driven by anomalies in the orbits of Uranus and Neptune. Lowell's prediction in 1915 set the stage for Pluto's eventual discovery in 1930 by Clyde Tombaugh, an astronomer at Lowell Observatory. Tombaugh's find validated Lowell's theories and those of other astronomers. The origin of the name Pluto adds a fascinating layer to the story. Contrary to scientific tradition, an imaginative 11-year-old named Venetia Burney from Oxford, England coined the name. She proposed it to her grandfather, who forwarded it to Lowell Observatory. The choice of Pluto pays tribute to the Roman god of the underworld, aligning intriguingly with Percival Lowell's initials. Pluto's surface marked by extreme cold ranks among the coldest regions in our solar system, with temperatures plummeting to a bone-chilling negative 375 to negative 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Hubble Space Telescope images have unveiled surface changes, suggesting potential seasonal variations. Dwelling at an astounding distance of 40 astronomical units from the Sun, Pluto's appearance is shrouded in darkness, blending into the vast cosmic canvas, completing its celestial circuit every 248 Earth years. Pluto with a modest radius of 1188 kilometers, stands distinct from the grandeur of planets and even some moons, including our own. Despite its small size, precise observations of Pluto's motion have allowed scientists to determine its mass accurately. Surprisingly, its mass at 1.3 times 10 to the power of 22 kilograms is 18 times that of our moon. Aligning more closely with smaller celestial bodies like Eris, Ceres, or Sedna, this characteristic led to Pluto's classification as a dwarf planet in 2006, highlighting its unique role in the intricate tapestry of our solar system. Pluto's cosmic odyssey resembles a leisurely road trip through the vastness of space. In 1989, it made its inaugural close encounter with the Sun venturing within a mere 29.7 times the Earth's sun distance, akin to a fleeting visit to a sun-drenched beach. Yet Pluto, much like an adventurous car, continues to distance itself from the Sun, embarking on a trajectory that resembles a vehicle veering farther from its starting point. By 2113, it will have reached its farthest point at about 49.3 times the Earth's sun distance, resembling an extended and scenic detour. This journey transforms Pluto into a celestial nomad, residing far from the solar system's epicenter, casting it as a distant wanderer among the stars. It's this immense expanse that cloaks Pluto in an elusive and faint cosmic aura. Even under the scrutiny of the mighty Hubble Space Telescope, Pluto manifests as a bleary brown disk lacking discernible surface details. This inherent challenge compounds the difficulty of comprehensive studies on this mysterious celestial entity. To conquer this challenge, 
scientists dispatched a special envoy New Horizons on a grand quest to visit Pluto in 2006. A voyage of considerable patience lasting nine and a half years, much like a solar system spanning road trip. Along the celestial route, the spacecraft seized captivating images of Jupiter serving as cosmic postcards dispatched back to Earth. Finally in 2015, New Horizons achieved its primary objective, reaching the distant and enigmatic land of Pluto. It was akin to the thrill of reaching a far-off mysterious destination, unveiling the secrets harbored for eons. During its momentous passage by Pluto, New Horizons diligently conducted over 400 observations, amassing a colossal 6 gigabytes of invaluable data. However, relaying this treasure trove of information back to Earth proved no small feat taking over a year, like sending a colossal digital postcard from a remote locale to share the wonders witnessed with friends back home. Crucially, it's worth noting that New Horizons opted not to enter into an orbit around Pluto, but executed a flyby, gracefully circumnavigating the dwarf planet. This strategic decision allowed the spacecraft to persist in its mission, exploring other cosmic wonders in the expansive reaches of space. Before delving into Pluto's surface, scientists were eager to unveil its concealed mysteries. Their best speculation suggests a sizable core, which is approximately 1,700 kilometers wide, composed of a blend of icy water and rocks beneath the surface. Enveloping this core is a 300 kilometer thick layer of ice likely harboring intriguing movements akin to Earth's tectonic plates. Lastly, Pluto boasts an outermost crust crafted from frozen gases like nitrogen, methane and carbon monoxide. This intricate multi-layered arrangement amplifies Pluto's mystique, rendering it an enticing realm for further exploration, a cosmic treasure chest poised to reveal its secrets to inquisitive scientists. Hidden beneath its icy veneer, Pluto might harbor a core generating sufficient heat to melt parts of the icy layer. A deep dive into Pluto's secrets could unveil a remarkable discovery, a saline, toxic ocean teeming with dissolved ammonia concealed beneath its surface. Envision it as an enigmatic underwater world beneath the icy facade where peculiar and mysterious phenomena might unfold. Pluto ever enigmatic, keeps us on our toes, and further exploration could unearth astonishing revelations. Its surface akin to an icy freezer, experiences bone-chilling temperatures plummeting to 213 degrees Celsius below zero, approximately 60 Kelvin, a frigid landscape where Pluto's secrets are frozen in time. When we embark on a journey to explore Pluto, one of the first enchanting sights that captures our attention is the Tombori Geo. This immense expanse nestled near Pluto's equator is a standout feature for its uncanny resemblance to a colossal heart endearingly earning it the moniker The Heart. This heart-shaped domain is vast, stretching across approximately 2,300 kilometers, which equates to a quarter of Pluto's entire surface area. It's akin to stumbling upon a mammoth, frozen valentine nestled in the frigid depths of space, a captivating gem within this distant world's treasure trove. However, Tom Borregio is a realm of diversity not uniformity. In its western reaches lies the Sputnik Planum, an expansive, smooth and radiant plain spanning 1,492 kilometers in diameter. When examined through the lens of an elevation map, this region unveils itself as a sprawling lowland expanse, providing an enthralling glimpse into the dynamic and multifaceted landscape that graces Pluto's icy terrain. Tom Borregio, the enigmatic heart of Pluto, is akin to a riddle swathed in a frosty cloak. Atop its surface lies a thick blanket of frozen nitrogen intermingled with carbon monoxide and solid methane. These icy constituents possess a unique quality. They shimmer with a vibrant hue, casting a spellbinding display reminiscent of magic. In certain areas, this icy veneer is so adept at reflecting sunlight that it can bounce back up to 90% of the solar rays it captures. This imparts a surreal almost ghostly luminosity, akin to a scene plucked from a fairy tale. Thus when we gaze upon Tom Borigio, we are not merely beholding ordinary ice. We are witness to a gleaming, enchanting spectacle that enhances Pluto's beguiling allure. Yet, what truly sets this region apart is its unblemished complexion, which is noticeably devoid of craters. This speaks of geological youthfulness, suggesting that it emerged relatively recently. The prevailing theory posits that Sputnik Planum came into existence approximately 100 million years ago, born from a cataclysmic encounter with a celestial giant. 
This colossal collision carved out a monumental crater, which subsequently transformed into the reservoir for Pluto's hypothetical inner ocean. The contents of this ocean swiftly congealed, giving rise to the icy plains that now captivate our gaze. Evidence of this icy metamorphosis is etched into the terrain, a landscape dotted with immense flat expanses, each spanning 20 to 30 kilometers in width. They resemble colossal icy pancakes, adorned with gentle undulations and hollows lining their perimeters. This peculiar pattern mirrors the intricate formations seen when a liquid is heated from below, much like the mesmerizing dance of water boiling in a pot. These patterns unveil glimpses of Pluto's chilly heart's history, as though we're deciphering a frozen storybook that enfolds the hidden processes shaping this distant world, one icy page at a time. A compelling clue supporting the notion of Pluto harboring a warm interior lies in Tom Borigio's captivating topography. This remarkable region is embraced by formidable mountain ranges, adding an extra layer of mystique to its enigmatical lure. To the west of Sputnik Planum, you'll encounter the Hillary Montes, a majestic mountain ridges that ascend to staggering heights of three and a half kilometers. As you venture southward, you'll encounter the towns and monies nestled within the heart-shaped expanse. Here, some of these rocky giants soar to heights exceeding 6 kilometers above Pluto's average surface, marking them as the loftiest peaks on this dwarf planet. Astonishingly, these towering formations are believed to primarily consist of water ice, as solid as any terrestrial rock, enduring Pluto's bone-chilling temperatures without faltering. Continuing southward, a profound basin captures our fascination encircled by towering, layered ridges composed of ice and rock. Scientists speculate that this might be the remnant of an ancient cryovolcano, with the surrounding rock formations representing the remnants of its frozen eruptions. Unraveling the chemical composition of these rocks stands as a paramount endeavor, as it holds the promise of unveiling the secrets held within Pluto's core, offering profound insights into the enigmatic workings of this remote celestial body. This pursuit of knowledge fuels the relentless curiosity of science propelling us toward unraveling the very essence of Pluto's captivating mystique. In the far reaches of Tom Borigio's eastern expanse, a distinct narrative unfolds on Pluto's canvas. This sector seems to echo a bygone era, with its land adorned in a darker hue, concealing the ancient mysteries of epochs long past. The terrain pockmarked by numerous craters serves as an archaeological tableau, recounting tales from the annals of time. A stark departure from the youthful vibrancy of Sputnik Planum, this realm is a frozen history lesson, a testament to Pluto's transformative journey through the ages, akin to the ever-evolving landscapes of our own Earth. Embarking on an eastward odyssey along the equator reveals a mesmerizing spectacle. Vast, enigmatic dark patches sprawling across the landscape, each spanning hundreds of kilometers. These enigmatic formations, aptly named maculas draw inspiration from the shadowy deities of diverse cultures. Notably, one bears the evocative moniker Balrog, conjuring images of mythical realms steeped in darkness. These maculas coalesce into a colossal celestial structure known as the Brass Knuckles encircling Pluto along its equatorial belt. Interspersed among them are towering mountain ranges and profound crevices, accentuating the macula's intricate contours, some rifts extending hundreds of kilometers. Among the shadows, Cthulhu Macula it takes center stage extending westward from Tom Borigio, earning the distinction of Pluto's most prominent dark feature spanning nearly 3,000 kilometers. Its surface reflecting only 30% of incident sunlight forms a striking contrast against the brilliance of nearby Sputnik Planum. The true essence of these maculas remains a mystery, veiled in their profound darkness. Speculations abound suggesting their somber complexion arises from a dense concentration of fallens, compounded by eons of enduring impact crater strikes, a testament to their ancient lineage. Moreover, the surface of Cthulhu Macula unfolds as a tapestry of diversity, featuring undulating western expanses, a serene central plain, and an eastern domain adorned with craggy mountains and craters. Pluto's eastern frontier, a realm of captivating contradictions and mysteries continues to extend an invitation to explorers and seekers of knowledge. Our journey northward leads us to Lowell Regio, a vast valley encompassing Pluto's North Pole. Astonishingly, this region bathes in the most generous sunlight that graces the dwarf planet's surface. This luminosity is a gift from Pluto's unique axial tilt, positioning its North Pole to directly greet the sun during its celestial waltz. 
This cosmic alignment has given rise to a captivating phenomenon. Despite Pluto's growing distance from the Sun, its atmosphere has miraculously tripled in density over the past three decades. The explanation is as captivating as the site itself. The Sun's gentle rays coax nitrogen ice to evaporate, and these vaporized particles embark on a celestial journey, converging at the pole and enriching Pluto's atmosphere in the process. Delving deeper into the orbital intricacies of Pluto unveils a celestial ballet that distinguishes it from its solar system counterparts, apart from its evident tilt concerning the ecliptic plane. Pluto engages in an everlasting waltz, executing rhythmic oscillations around a fixed point choreographed by the gravitational influence of its substantial moon, Charon, weighing in at 1.5 times 10 to the power of 21 kilograms. Charon commands over 11% of Pluto's mass, orchestrating the intricate dance of their intertwined orbits. Pluto and Charon entwined in a gravitational embrace share a cosmic partnership. Their orbits revolving around a shared center of mass, an elegant celestial dance directed by the force that binds them together. Locked in this inescapable connection, they perpetually present the same faces to each other, an enduring cosmic tableau in their shared existence. While Pluto's surface showcases a diverse palette, Charon unveils a darker countenance adorned with a mosaic of water ice mingled with methane and nitrogen in select regions. Despite its smaller size compared to its host, Charon exudes a distinct allure among Pluto's moon retinue. Charon, the grandest of them all, stands as the primary moon, alongside others like Nix and Hydra which are discovered in 2005, spanning several tens of kilometers. Smaller in stature are Kerberos and Styx, not exceeding 16 kilometers in diameter. Hailing from the fringes of the Kuiper Belt, these celestial companions predominantly consist of water ice, forming a celestial entourage that attests to the intriguing dynamics of Pluto's cosmic neighborhood. Alas, the probing eyes of the New Horizons spacecraft failed to unveil all of Charon's mysteries. Yet, the visible terrain reveals a trove of wonders. South of the celestial equator lies Vulcan Planum, a vast expanse rivaling the size of a European nation, encompassing no less than 400,000 square kilometers. Within this grand canvas, the towering Kubrick Mons stands as the highest peak measuring around 40 kilometers in diameter, with a speculated summit soaring to 4,000 meters. Encircling it like a protective rampart, a wide circular moat descends as deep as 2 kilometers, sparking speculation about its origin as a remnant of a cryovolcano formed through the gradual sinking of the terrain. As we journey northward, the landscape transforms into the expanse of Ostero, a rugged realm marked by a constellation of craters. Separated from Vulcan Planum by colossal ledges and deep crevices, this dramatic terrain showcases an elevation variation of roughly a kilometer. Amid these geological marvels, Serenity Chesma stands out, an immense chasm stretching 200 kilometers in length, with a width fluctuating between 40 to 50 kilometers, and depths plunging to an astonishing 7 kilometers, a mysterious realm concealed by the shadows of its steep slopes. The landscape of Karen unfolds like chapters in an interstellar saga, each distinctive feature narrating a singular episode in its cosmic history. Progressing northward and adjacent to Karen's pole, lies the immense Mordor Macula, with a sprawling diameter of 475 kilometers. Ongoing scientific debates surround the mysterious origin of this feature, with a prevalent hypothesis proposing that Charon's gravitational pull captured nitrogen and methane escaping Pluto's atmosphere, transforming them into tholins within Charon's icy surface. This intriguing theory awaits confirmation, poised to become a central focus for future exploration. Despite our growing fascination, Charon remains a celestial puzzle its exploration still in its infancy. The pluto charon system, undeniably one of the most captivating formations in the solar system, beckons further investigation. Regrettably, the New Horizons probe bid adieu to this cosmic realm some time ago, and the distant partnership of Pluto and Charon slipped beyond our grasp, carrying their undisclosed mysteries. Presently positioned over 50 astronomical units away from Earth, the probe sporadically transmits vital data casting light on the cosmic depths. Nevertheless, this celestial dance has a finite timeline. By 2030, New Horizons will experience a gradual decline in its systems, embarking on a solitary odyssey through the frigid expanses of the cosmos. And that's it. Absolutely thanks for tuning in to Spaceverse. If you want more cosmic content, 
just click on one of these videos and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of the universe. See you.